Hey guys, today I'll be showcasing how to make a water wheel power system in immersive engineering. To start us off, we'll be needing some blocks, some water wheels, some connect dynamos, and then some power stuff to connect the water wheel power to a capacitor bank to store our energy, as well as some water. So to start off, build yourself something like this using the blocks that we have. And next we need to go into the middle of this, which would be this block right here. Go up by two blocks, then place a connect dynamo right about here. Then you can place your water wheels down. I like to do this in threes so that we can have three water wheels running at the same time. Next, I would recommend building a little structure around this to make sure the water doesn't go flowing everywhere. Something along the lines of this should be fine. So next, you need to place your water in like this and it will start moving. It appears I didn't place enough blocks around this though. So I just built a little structure around here like this. I extended this by two blocks. So that should be your water wheel up and working. You can see it's spinning should be spinning around this speed. You can add more water wheels if you want, but I recommend doing it with three at a time and just making multiple of these. So the last thing you'll need to do is place a wire relay right here, then put down a capacitor over here, place another wire relay right here, then connect these with a HV wire coil. So once you have connected the cables, you will have power. This does generate a decent amount, but I do recommend building another one of these if you would actually like to have a bunch of machines up and running. Also, you do have to use the wire connect instead of the relays. I made that mistake so I swapped them out. May as well tell you guys as well. But yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys understood everything just about fine. This is probably the first power generation that you'll get up and running in your world. So I hope you all understood everything. If not, ask me some questions in the comment section. I will answer them properly. And with that out of the way, I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.